Let me tell you something. A driver don't pick the car. The car picks the driver. It's a mystical bond between man and machine. It's a mystical bond between man and machine. What's up, dudes and dudes? Because I don't think a lot of dudettes watch my videos. But hey, if you are a dudette and you watch my video, shout out to you. It's the one and only Optibotomist coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Bumblebee Nitro Series Optimus Prime. For the package, open so you can touch it and do that. You got Optimus, you got Bumblebee, you got logos, you come around to the back, you got the instructions printed right on the back of the package. You got images of him in his uh, robot as well as his vehicle mode, and then you can see that that Energon core can be plugged into the back of him, it looks like, and make him go. But uh, for the packaging on this guy, uh, that is about it. As mentioned in the uh, Barricade video, the Nitro series are a little bit more that involved than bigger versions of the power series uh, specifically here the power plus i guess because it does come with that energon core but for the packaging on this guy that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is okay so here we have optimus prime open up out of his packaging and obviously as you can see in his uh, more g1 looking truck mode which does look really very nice uh, if you've seen the recent trailer there has been a lot of uh, speculation and it's been fueled by that trailer that we're gonna get some more g1 style looks for a lot of the characters that we know and optimus was one of them that we saw briefly but he did look kind of how he looked in g1 and also as the uh, evasion optimus from age of extinction so that's really cool to see uh, now obviously he has his little energon core now taking a look at uh, bumblebees here uh, again i do think that we have a completely different mold on there uh, very similar in terms of the overall kind of functionality in terms of the you know the little motorized gimmick you got the little plug right there you also do have the hole here in the back uh, bringing in barricades uh, who has some of that silver paint on here as well uh, that is also um, I wonder if you can put all these together there yeah you know, well I mean it can yeah they kind of stick all together uh, but you can see that so far all three of the ones that I've taken a look at are all different which is nice I would imagine they all kind of function the same uh, I'll test that out here in a bit but as you can also see you could plug it I I guess here if you really wanted to you got a little hole right here but uh, it doesn't really plug that's too small of a hole but the overall look uh, of the truck here is really pretty nice you have a very glossy paint here in the front very reflective that looks nice got some silver for the smokestacks you got some silver from the front grill headlights got a little black uh, windshield wipers on there blue legs some nice paint for the tires uh, you do have the feet that just come up here and make like a trailer hitch. That's fairly common. One thing that I don't like, these. They literally are barely in there. Uh, it, it's almost like, I mean, they, they kind of sit in there. I probably am gonna glue them in there because transforming this guy, uh, getting all these tabs to line up around here and you'll see that it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's not difficult, it's just, a pain in the butt because you got like some tabs that go this way and then some tabs that go this way and trying to get them all to line up properly is a bit of a pain and in doing it you accidentally will knock things off uh, i'm going to try leaving these on during the transformation but it is what it is uh, now the gimmick for it you open these up like so and when you do you get some really nice guns and kind of cannons on the inside here obviously you got a big giant gap there but that looks really cool and then you got like feet that dangle down uh let's see then you take optimus's little energon thing plug that in there and you push this down and he goes and that's all let's see all right that's one we're gonna do a little, little timer here or a countdown see how many times it does it Pretty good. Uh, I, I think it rolls fairly well. Let's see bumblebees. See how well that fits in there and see how well that works. Oh, didn't it push that down all the way? Here we go. All right. Hey, look, it does the same thing. <laughs> Let's try barricades. Uh -huh. Hey, look, 
it does the same thing. <laughs> so all of these can be used uh, with any of the other figures, so it works nicely. Uh, but putting that right back, uh, you can see it just rotates there like so. Uh, now for the transformation, first come around here to the bottom, you got these little tires that tab up underneath there on a friction slot. So just kind of pull that away and that whole thing probably will flop out too. Fold these back and around and then take these legs and straighten them out just like so. Come around here to this whole back section. Uh, all of this you can kind of open and kind of just explode out and then rotate his torso around. And that's two, put that right there. Uh, and then just take these feet and you can see you got double hinges here. Just rotate these back and they will lock into place. Come around here, you can see that everything connects via like this little hook tab. So you kind of have to slide it like so and then pull it apart and then keep that like that. Rotate these around. This part can be a little bit tricky uh, if you don't have fingernails. Uh, this whole section has to flip back and there really isn't a, a, a big, I mean, there's like this little section, like right here. You, you kind of got to get your fingernail in there. And I don't ah, have fingernail. <laughs> you're going to come off anyhow, then you, you might as well be useful. All right, put you back on there. So take that, fold that around, and then you bring these pieces around. And I'll oh, bring this around lay that along this back and then these little pieces right here will kind of grab hold of that so just push that in push that in come around here oh i actually did forget something keep these up and you got these little pieces right here fold these little bits up sorry there that bring down optimus's arms and then rotate them there and that's it that's optimus and as you can see, he looks very similar to what we've seen him before in uh, the more recent adaptations of him in terms of like that evasion Optimus. And I think he looks pretty darn good. And this is a pretty decent Optimus Prime. I mean, obviously it's not a studio series figure and it is not geared towards adult collectors, but this is still a pretty nice representation of Optimus. I mean, it looks like what we're used to with them. As I said, it does have that evasion mode look, which leads people to wonder if that evasion mode look was kind of his default sort of appearance. Now, obviously, like, why would Optimus Prime have a human truck mode while on Cybertron? But yeah, no, we'll, we'll see the movie and we'll decide from there. But you can see you got a really nice added silver in here. You got an Autobot logo there. Really nice detail in the face. Uh, come in, uh, can you see that? Yeah, there you go. You got some uh, nice blue paint there for the eyes. Some good silver detail, some blue. Obviously, you got a lot of added paint uh, that you see in the robot mode that you don't necessarily see in the vehicle mode, like the silver for the arms and everything. But pretty solid looking. He cleans up pretty nicely. I mean, the backpack is also pretty uh, minor, which is uh, nice to see. Good size for the figure. I would definitely say a good Voyager size. Obviously, not necessarily a Voyager figure, but for some size comparisons, here he is. Uh, let's bring in Barricade, who is part of that Nitro series. You can see that these guys are pretty big in terms of their overall size. Now, there is a Nitro series version of Bumblebee. I haven't gotten to that yet, but obviously, I'll bring that in when we take a look at it. But here's the uh, Power Plus series version of Bumblebee. And then, just because I uh, always like bringing this guy in because... He's a fun little robot. Here is the new uh, power charge uh, version of uh, Bumblebee. And you can see he gets pretty big in terms of the overall size. In keeping with some uh, traditions, here is uh, Shockwave as well as uh, the punch counter punch figure. So you can get a pretty decent idea of uh, the overall size for these new figures. For his articulation, uh, he's actually pretty darn good. Uh, the head is just on a swivel, rotates nicely. The elbows here are on swivels, so you can rotate that around. Uh, does kind of get a little bit restrictive when you're trying to go back because there's some junk, and then you do have a hinge that allows the arms to go out about that far. Does rotate at the upper part of the bicep, and then due to the transformation, he's got two joints here at the elbow. Also, as part of the transformation, he does have a waist rotation, but again, uh, there's a lot of junk 
uh, here that kind of restrict it, so it's not much. Uh, his hips actually do move forward and back. They're on nice ratchet joints, and they also move in and out. But, oh, we come to the knees, and there's nothing. Uh, again, I don't know... I don't know why they couldn't have put, um, like, a little cap on there. Like, have two different things and have a little cap that allows, like, a hinge for the knee. Yeah, that's really quite unfortunate. And then the ankles are kind of locked. I mean, I guess you could kind of move it away. Uh, but really, I mean, not a bad uh, level of articulation. But it's like, if you're going to have his legs, I mean, it's not really much you can do. Uh, moving him forward and back if he doesn't have knees. So, I mean, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what their thought process is. They, they don't ever ask me anything. Now, for his uh, transformation, that's just going to sit right there. Uh, take these. You want to rotate these like so, and then you have a little, keep that there, a little uh, notch right there that you bring this up and kind of line that up in to do that on the opposite side right there and then pull these away and then take this whole section and lift this up and then you can rotate the waist around just like so. Come down to these legs, you can then hook these in and lock them in place. You can also then rotate this piece back if you wanted to. You can take this, you can fold that up and lock that there. Rotate these arms around. Now this is where things start get a, get a little bit tricky to do. Uh, lift this up and then Take this, I guess you should have waited. Take this, pull this up, take these little pieces, fold these down, and then these are, are gonna put in, and then I just barely touch that and that fall off. So lock that down. Now, like I said, this is the part where things get a little bit tricky. You, you kinda have to bring this around, and you have tabs that go outward like this. So that's easy to line up. You just kind of push that in there and then push this closed. But then when you bring this down, oh, now you have these tabs right here and they both go out and then you got a tab here that goes forward. So it's very tricky to do. You have to kind of put them all there at the same time and then squeeze everything. So it's not it's not hard, it's just tricky to do because like I said, you got tabs going this way, some going this way. It's all all over the place and then rotate these around and then this little section right here on the inside here the bumper you can kind of see it is a little slot you want to bring this in and then push that in like that and then do that on this one as well just kind of look push that in there just like that and then this just like that and then when you're done put the smokestacks back on uh, they do have to actually go on uh, a specific way like this one here doesn't go on here so uh, uh, at least on my smokestacks they go in a specific spot I'm gonna glue those but when you're done there you have Optimus back in his truck mode now before I go on remember guys that if you like this video I would really appreciate your support and let me know simply by hitting that thumbs up button it actually does go a long way towards helping me out and I would really appreciate it. As for Optimus here, uh, pretty decent in, in general. Like I said, this is not a Studio Series figure and it is not geared towards collectors. It's geared towards you know younger kids that are gonna want a little bit more of an involved transformation and this one definitely has it, but not overly complex like say a Studio Series. Optimus here is definitely a good in-between figure. And when you do transform him, you get a pretty solid looking robot mode. The only drawback is no knees, uh, which you can see right there. That's the only thing that I really wish that this figure had. Also, I'm kind of missing the fact that, you know, we get these with it, but we don't get any other weapons. And I can't really imagine him holding this and using this as a weapon. It'd be nice if we got a little gun for him, but eh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. But he's a fun toy. I do like the gimmick. Uh, I like what they did here with uh, these little guns and everything. I like how that's kind of built into it, obviously. And then this is not permanently in there, which you in turn compromises the overall figure. So again, it's another figure that I feel that the gimmick works well with. And like I said, it's just, he's a fun toy. Not a collector piece, but definitely a fun one. So all that being said, 
If this version of Optimus Prime is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, he is hitting various retail locations right now. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. For that, all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformer figures. But beyond that guys, that's about it. I want to send a huge thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch the video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. Also a huge shout out to all of my patrons, who through their continued support now more than ever help to make reviews like this possible. And if you'd like to be one of those people and get some exclusive perks along the way, you can check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash optobotomist. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.